the looks I can smell all of the smoke, all that love and positivity, that shit. I shit dead them all, my heart ski down slopes when you the piggy bank. Everybody wanna see you broke, bro. Me and snakes don't lip lock. I don't think the feet look good on me like flip flops. I know if I spit it, it belongs in the ziplock. They know I'ma kill them all they hear in this TikTok. Your time is up. Where there's fire, you see the smoke, yeah. I know liars, I seen them fall, yeah. I'm so tired from all these souls, it's done been a good year My tires don't leave the road, yeah uh. <laughs> Are they serious? I seen liars that testified under oath I hear Rappers not living out what they wrote, my peers I to be studying, taking notes How you hate me to the core when I keep your ass afloat I put pressure on they pencils They look at my life and draw the stencil One move I can re- Before we get started uh, with the episode today I just wanted to talk to you real quick About my friend Patrick Spicer over at Hybrid Human Performances Hybrid Human Performance is a state-of-the-art training facility located in Lincoln, Nebraska, with reputable coaches that can take you to the next level. Each training session is designed to and for the athlete to be successful in their sport. Notable Hybrid Human Performance alumni include cornerback for the Chicago Bears, Lamar Jackson, Seahawks safety, Deontay Williams, Nebraska Cornhuskers quarterback, Casey Thompson, and Lincoln native Noah Walters, quarterback for the North Alabama Lions. If you want to take your game to the next level, contact Patrick with Hybrid Human Performance at 307-321-8365 or shoot him an email at patrick, P-A-T-R-I-C-K, at hybrid-hp.com. Enjoy the episode. Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oscar Galindo. I'm here with another episode of The Official Visit. Uh, today, I'm joined uh, by two uh, Omaha North stars. I got quarterback Sebastian Serco, and then uh, coming back for another time, uh, we got defensive lineman Tyson Terry. Uh, what's up, guys? What you guys doing? Just chilling, eating lunch. Not me. You guys are in lunch right now? <laughs> well, great right now. Cook up today. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I usually just bring my own lunch from yeah. home. So. <laughs> I got a roast beef sandwich. Got to make it from home. It's good. Oh, I'm yeah. chef. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got to get got to get that protein in, man. For sure. All right, man. Well, I got some a couple quick, you know, just warm-up questions kind of get you guys talking. Uh um the first one I have is, you know, not naming like the name of a school, but your dream school has these three things and you you guys name it it could either be related to the sports act aspect of it the education whatever it may be campus location uh let me go there you go all right um three things about my dream school uh the west coast it's on the west coast okay. um it's probably got top the gear is probably top of the line in the country. Um, and then uh, their facilities are just top of the line as well. Okay, nice. So facilities, some some sick gear, and then some you know somewhere out in the West Coast get some get some nice weather out there. Okay. Oh, uh, mine's also on the West Coast. It's in. Uh, let me describe it more. Air raid offense. Okay. So you want to sling it? Yeah. And like, I think it's like a theater school. Okay. So you want to do, you want to do theater in college? No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's just, like, I think like the school's about, like I, I would major in like something else, but like, I think that's like what. Okay. So, so like, this is like something that your, that your dream school would be able to offer to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, so probably air raid, cool okay. uniform, and fan base. A nice fan base. Okay. Yeah, that's solid. Sweet. So then the next one for you. All right. So we got, if you, I don't know about you guys. I watched a good amount of sports movies. 
Um, so what, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to name your top three sports movie characters. All right, I'll go first. Uh, probably sports movie. I like the I like the Blind Side. Okay. I think the little kid was fu- the little kid was funny. <laughs> yeah. the, the little, little brother. Kid, yeah. Then uh uh Friday Friday Night Lights like okay. Permian. I Permian? like the yeah I like the coach. Okay. And, one more. Oh, the water boy. Okay. I like Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher. Oh, <laughs> oh are you Tyson? Um, my uh, mine would probably be um, like the the Rocky series, Rocky and like Apollo Creed, and just you know, just the characters in those. Um. Uh, another one would probably be uh, I'd probably I like I like the um the longest yard so like Paul Crew the Adam okay. Sandler and and then uh, a last one I'd probably have to go with uh, um. Uh, uh, sandbox. Uh, sandbox. Uh, squints. Squints, yo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, he's so, a legend, man. Yeah. yeah. That's a, that's a good that's a good list. I think if I had to go, I would I would pick uh, I would say Airbud just because he was just versatile. Okay. You know, he played everything. He's a dog, so just the fact he was doing that as a dog. Yeah. Go. Uh, I say Chris Ivory from Friday Night Lights, the defensive lineman. He was so quiet the whole movie and then just popped off in the state championship game. That, that was crazy. That, that gave me chills. And then I think my third one would probably be tied between the longest yard between Brucey and Brucey. that big guy. I don't remember his yeah. name. Can of corn. Can of corn, that guy that gets laid out. Yeah. And he's just, <laughs> <laughs> that guy. That would be my top three. Um. All right. So then last one. Last one more question here. If you can, who is a player in the pro, either past or present, that you would have loved to play alongside? So, you know, it'd be like either a receiver for you or, you know, a fellow defensive lineman or whatever. Moss. For sure. Randy Moss? Yeah. Oh, dude, just sling it up to him. No, Randy Moss or Calvin Johnson. Oh, yeah. Either of those two. They're, they're, yeah. They just – to be after they're just East different, Oakland. dude. Yeah. Um, mine would probably be, be uh either Aaron Donald, obviously, you know, one of the greatest to ever do it in the defensive line position, but I think it would have been pretty cool to play with Lawrence Taylor. Ooh. And just he was and just yeah. things like that. I think that would be pretty cool to just play along with him. Yeah. Dude, that'd be that'd be scary, man. That'd be scary to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Nah, dude. Calvin Johnson, Randy Moss, bro, freaks, dude, freaks. Yeah. Um. All right. So yeah. So that was it for like the warm up questions. Now we're kind of gonna you know talk a little bit about you know North, you, you guys' season, and we'll kind of go on to a couple other topics from there. Um. You know, last time I talked to Tyson, you know, you guys were. I think on like a winning streak and then uh, you guys hit, were heading into the Grand Island game. And then from there, you guys, you know, lost to GI and then Elkhorn South and then in the playoffs. Uh, do you guys maybe want to talk about, you know, not, ser- not necessarily what happened, but kind of what, you know, what was your guys, what was going through your guys' heads during that time and, you know, kind of what, I guess, yeah, what what happened there? Oh, uh, like, so for the first Grand Island game, like, I had a bad game. So I just had to, like, type, uh, kind of, like, bounce back from that and just, like, stay positive. Then the Elkhorn South game, I think they're the number one state, number one team in the state going into that game. Mm-hmm. And we just got off to, like, a rough start and couldn't really, like, get back on our feet. Then the Grand Island, the se- second Grand Island game in the playoffs, I think we should have won. It was just a tough, tough battle game. Yeah. So then, 
Yeah. Um, Sorry, go ahead. Just to bounce off of that, um, you know, I think just like some of the kids, we were on that hot streak um, for a while and kind of wasn't used to like those tough losses there. But mm -hmm. I, I, I don't want to say I was kind of used to it. You know, last year um, we started 0-5. So um, I think I guess I was kind of not used to it, but not to where – I was like just hanging my head and down because, you know, playoffs were right around the corner. And so, yeah. you know, it happened in the playoffs. And so, yeah, that first, the Grand Island game, the second one in Grand Island, um, that was definitely, I know we uh, played them a lot tougher and better. I think we had a better game plan that game too, but, you know, you don't know all of them. And so that was kind of a, a game that I wish we could maybe get back because we uh were right there. We were, we were right there. And so, yeah. 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 Because, I mean, like you mentioned, like the first game, uh, you know, I, I went to go watch that one. One thing I noticed was like, I think like the fact that they scored so quick, so uh -huh. early, I think it was like two touchdowns, like in the first like some minutes, Uh, you know, I feel like that would kind of like put you guys in this like, you know, we got to, you know, go uh, mode, yeah. I guess, or overdrive mode or something. Uh, yep. But like, you know, like you mentioned last season, you guys were 0 and 4, 0 and 5, going into you know a tough time, you know a stretch where you guys were in different need. Whereas this time, you guys uh, were kind of in the driver's seat for a little bit. You know, you guys had beat, you, know, you guys had gone through kind of like a tough part of your schedule, and you know if you guys held on, you guys would have had a really good uh, seating and all that. Uh, but, you know, kind of you know seeing the difference in there. How how do you make sure that next season? You know whether whether it's a win streak, whether you're you know fighting for a playoff spot. How 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 do you make sure you can keep that intensity and keep the team you know going and motivated throughout the season? Yeah, so I think next year is definitely be a key point of when we're we're in that stretch of you know four four or five oh, weeks yeah. where it's their, the the opponents um, aren't the greatest. So I think key for next year is, you know, making sure we, we get in, get out of practice, you know, make sure we're doing the little things right. And just in game is make sure we're not – because we we don't play down to the level of competition that we kind of just dominate. So then once we do um, get those tougher games at the end of the season is that we, we're ready for them. Yeah. And they kind of don't just, um, like, shock us a little bit. And so that's what I think the goal is for next year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like I, I agree with Tyson, just like to have that like feeling of last year, like going on that three game losing streak coming to this year against Bellevue West, just to be ready for that because it'll be a good game. So then, you know, kind of like touching on that last game, that last playoff game, uh, that was one that kind of came down to the wire. Uh, you got you know, you guys with GI, um, you know, this, like you mentioned, that, that three game lot, uh, streak and then a tough playoff loss, what kind of motivation is that, you know, what do you guys take that into the off season and, you know, think about, you know, kind of, I don't know, you know, let it fester, I guess, I guess if you want to call it that, uh, you know, oh, yeah. as motivation for next year. Yeah, I definitely is. Cause we have to, we'll play those teams again. We'll yeah. play those teams yeah. again. We'll have another shot at them. So I think come, like when we head up to those games, like practice is going to get a lot, a lot more intense because, I don't think people want to feel that feeling as last year. You know, just like those – like that was a tough loss in the playoffs. And so I know that we are – you know, our goal is not just to be – just make it to the playoffs. You know, it's obviously to um, make it far. And then obviously and then, uh, maybe, you know, state championship is the overall goal. But I think those – those that losses definitely helped us, you know, because I'm not, you know, just the players and not just media that we remember. We played Grand Island again next year. We lost to Bellevue West this year. We played them first game this year. And so um, I think it's definitely uh, definitely some things that we're thinking about. You know, still talking about this past season, um, you know, despite all that, you guys still had, you know, by all means, a pretty, pretty solid season. You know, you guys put up, you know, good numbers, had a lot of players, uh, you know, show out a lot of young players, uh, you know, get yeah. you know, good playing time and stuff like that. Um, you know, do you guys want to talk about maybe, you know, what it's like playing with all the, all you know, you guys have a lot of talent around you guys. Even, you know, this yeah. year, you know, seniors like Tashawn, uh, Trevion, and then, you know, 
all those guys. And then next year, you know, you guys still have Samarius, you have Titan, yeah. Cham. You know, what's it like playing with those guys? And, you know, how, how do they kind of keep you uh, wanting to get improve and get better? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Like, Tashawn and Trey were both great players. Like, they're a big piece. But we're uh, we were – I think we were a young team overall. And, like, we're going to have to have guys step up. So, just getting that chemistry in the offseason, throwing with those guys, I think, will help a lot. And I think just with all that talent in, in one team is, you know, that it, it raises everybody's, you know – um, just in practice, you know, there's just many competitions, you know, just trying to one one up somebody or just, you know, things like that. And so I think that helps a lot too. It's just everybody's just trying to get better from yeah. from everybody around. For next year, you know, Sean, he's gonna be gone. So, you know, I'm sure there's you guys have, you know, running a running back that will step up. It seems like you guys always yeah. do. Uh but you know, thinking about it, it might lead to, you know, maybe a little bit uptick in the amount of time you guys pass it, you know, are you, you know, how are you looking at maybe taking on a bigger role and like, are you doing any work with your receivers to like, you know, kind of be ready for when that season comes? I think we're, we will pass the ball a lot more than we did last year. Cause just, we, we had to Sean and, but God, I've been working with them too. So like, I think we're ready for that. And, you know, Tyson as well, you know, this season, you know, freshman year came out, you know, you were just killing it. This year, you know, even even, you know, people kind of like knew you were coming last year. I feel like, you know, people probably knew you were coming, but you still caught people by surprise this year. People knew you were coming. They planned and you still did you still did still did the thing, man. How do you how do you go into, you know, year three and you know make because you know they're gonna they're just gonna keep coming at you. Uh, but making sure that, you know, you, you keep up that, you know, that production, that intensity, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I think my, usually my family has helped me a lot <laughs> with that is just like not staying consistent or not, not, not staying, um, just like complacent mm -hmm. just cause you know, one offer, two offers or how many offers I have. It's just like the word, like you're never, you're never perfect in any situation and just, um, sports and so there's also there's always um things to improve on and stuff like that and so I think with you know like my overall goal is to win a state championship so I'm gonna try as much like as, as I can and you know push my teammates to the limits to where you know that's where we end up next year or even uh, senior year is just a state state title is my goal and so I think uh, it's it's helped you know just pushing the kids they push me back and so it's just everybody pushes themselves and there's not um there's not a, a, like a limit that um it's not like uh i'm not just not gonna stay complacent there's always um room to grow and so just keep raising that bar exactly so you know you touched on the offers there a little bit and you know not being complacent uh because of that uh so you know that kind of kind of nice little transition into the next topic i want to talk about you know which was your guys' recruitment uh, Tyson, since the end of the season, you picked up offers from Colorado and Iowa. Uh, I think that's just from like, yeah, you know, since the season's been over. Uh, do you want to maybe talk about those? Have you, you know, been in contact with the, those coaches quite a bit? Um, yeah. So Iowa was actually like one of the first schools to recruit me. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I think, like, I I kind of felt like you know it was it was gonna happen. Um, sooner or later, but I mean, it was kind of still a little surprised since you know, like going into freshman year, they were one of the first schools to talk. I talk talk to, and so it was like been two years, so um, it was a little surprised. But I mean, yeah, um, I've I've uh, still keep in contact uh, whenever they swing by the school and just yeah. you know build that relationship. And then um, Colorado, that was actually uh, the first time I talked uh, to the O line coach, and so that was kind of a a little surprise, I guess. Yeah. I kind of just thought, you know, just introduce ourselves and just kind of work on building a relationship and just mm -hmm. that. But he actually, yeah, I got that offer, and so that was that was pretty cool. Nice. So then Coach Prime. you said, what was that? Coach Prime. Coach Prime. Yeah, you got. You, I'm guessing you probably maybe haven't had a chance to talk to him yet, but <laughs> yeah. But um, after wrestling gets done and over with, um, got this. Um, Taking a visit up there, yeah. So we'll see. Nice. Yeah, that'll be that'll be pretty sweet, man. I'll have to 
you know, catch up with you on that, you know, talk about Coach Prime a little bit later. So then uh, you said Colorado was oh, offensive line and then Iowa was defensive line or offensive line? Um, so uh, Colorado was offensive line, but Iowa, it was it was kind of both, but okay. leaning the the offensive line. Just just get that boy on campus, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah one of those offers. Nice. All right. So then, you know, Sebastian, uh, you know, you've been making some noise uh, recently. You know, you had that big tournament uh, down in uh, uh, Louisiana. I no, think. Miami. In Miami. Uh, yeah. We'll talk about that here in a bit. But from that, you know, you've. You, know, you talked about you know dream, you know this dream school kind of being on the west coast, but the east coast is they're they're looking at you pretty good. You got offers from Syracuse and Miami. Do you want to you know elaborate on those a little bit? Actually, uh, we're on a visit. And I was like Coach Chris Ball wanted to talk to me, so I went up to his office and talked about like kick success at Oregon, how they went from four and eight to winning the Rose Bowl, and he just said mm-hmm. he really like tape and how I threw the ball, so he just said he wanted to offer me. Then I yeah. talked to the. Uh, quarterbacks coach and the receivers coach from uh, Syracuse on the phone yeah. uh, a week ago, and he was like, "Yeah, you, I really like your film, and like we just want to offer you too." And he said he was working with Malachi Coleman, and they they were just talking like he was just talking about how like there's quarterback up on mine and that I was good. Then I think for I'm gonna go back. I'm I'm going back to Miami. I think on March fourth. Okay. Then take a visit to Penn State, and Syracuse, sometime this spring. You know, you mentioned Penn State there. They've been kind of, you know, keeping in contact with you. Yeah. Yeah, same with uh, Boston College and Penn State. Uh, Boston College and Temple and Ole Miss a little bit. East Coast, man. You might be an East Coast kid. Dude. You might, you know, West Coast is nice, but who knows. Uh, You know, you want to maybe take us through uh your visit at Miami, you know, just for, I mean, I've never been out there. I'm sure it was pretty, pretty nice. What, what was that like visiting out there? It was just like crazy. Like I didn't even know it was a uh, private school. So it was like only eight thousand people there, oh, and wow. the camp, like in like facilities are really nice, and yeah. all the coaches I talked to were just like nice, down to earth people. Yeah. What what kind of offense do they run? I really they don't have a right now. So he said, Coach Criswell said, "I when I come back in uh, March, he's gonna meet, introduce me to him." To the to coordinators and stuff. Nice, sweet. So then, um, you know, from there, like I mentioned, you know, a, a little bit of that attention came out from that, uh, you know, your performance at that seven on seven tournament, uh, with the the bootleggers. Yeah. Um, you want to talk about, and then you're also out here when you, you know, when you're in Nebraska, you're yeah. playing with, you know, any elite as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, how how do you feel that has kind of helped you in your development as a quarterback? I think playing with some of like the top top receivers in the country just like brings my game to the next level like just how it's going to be in college like all those dudes around me and just meeting new people and friendships making friendships along the way just having yeah. fun yeah because yeah because you're playing with like four stars all of, like all those kinds of guys out in oh mm. do you like uh, i know there's a i know or I'm always going to stick up for the Nebraska, you know, high school players, you know, we got a good ball out here, you know, no, you can't, you can't tell us we don't, but I'd be naive to say that, you know, South is just different, man. It's just, they, they got a bunch of different. Speed's different. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, do you maybe like, what kind of noticeable differences do you, do you notice when you're like out there and, you know, playing in those tournaments? Like, just like, it's just so competitive. It's just so competitive out there. Like everyone's trying to win so bad, and just there's so many good athletes on the field. It's just, just a dogfight. So maybe uh, you want to talk about uh, any elite? Like you have uh, on there a couple of North receivers. Yeah. You got Champ, Titan. Um, you know how how do you feel that helps with your chemistry going into the season? You know, getting well, as, extra routes and yeah, all that. as much reps I could get with my receivers is a great thing. Like when we go to seven on seven with North, like we'll be already like on the same page. I, I always feel like it's you know I feel like it's a good way to you know help out you know, quarterbacks and skill positions. You know even though there's always those yeah. people that say it's not real football and whatnot. Um, yeah, for sure. Um. So then you know kind of switching over you know to Tyson over right now you you deep 
you know, into wrestling season right now. Uh, last time I talked to you at Warren Acad- at the Warren Academy Showcase, you were undefeated. What is the record now? Um, the record right now is uh, forty-seven and zero. Forty-seven and oh man, sheesh. So what what are you on your career then? Um, so your high school career. So uh, forty-seven this year as of now. So my overall record is eighty-six and zero. So then, because like, I've seen like people, that, that's nuts, man. Because I've seen like people that do like, they're they're not hitting the they're not hitting like the hundred hundred win mark till like their senior year. You're probably oh, good so, this year. Uh, uh, no, I'll be, I'll be right under it. So I'll hit it like next year in okay. the for either first tournament. So then you know, kind of the same the same with football. You know, like yeah. You, you always want to keep a good level of intensity. You never want to get, you know, too high, uh, you know, when things are going, when things are going well, uh, you know, you know, went dominating last year like you did. And then this year, you know, you can, you've continued that. Uh, and, you know, if, you know, don't want to jinx nothing, but if everything goes well for you, you know, you'll be a two-time state champion at the end of it. How do you, you know, how do you keep those goals and that, you know, mindset, sharp you know to to you know never drop that intensity never you know you know kind of go out there every match and wrestle like it's the most important one like you do yeah so um just my family you know my whole family they've just been um a wrestling wrestling family so that's kind of just how i got into it but just the intensity and my dad of just constantly um just pushing me when i was younger and uh just helping me on different things um, just enforcing like my will and my you know domination on kids and just um, kind of just showing them like who who's who's number one mm-hmm. here. That's kind of just been my 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 mentality with just not not just wrestling but also um, just other sports. You know, football. Like uh, every every snap is I'm I'm trying to win this this snap yeah. here. Anything in in the game. And so that's just enforcing my will and my domination on someone. It's just kind of just been, you know, that's kind of just been set in stone in me since I was a young kid. And so I think that definitely helps. You know, I know you have, I believe it's uh, Coach Terry over at Iowa Western. He yep. is, is your uncle? Yeah, my uncle. Okay. So, you know, he's winning championships over there too, you know. This, this, you know, seeing like, you know, the family success kind of like motivates you a little bit more. And like, all right, you know not competing with him but hey man like I'm, I'm nice too like you know the whole family's nice does that kind of drive you a little bit yeah for sure and it's just cool because you know just the different coaches and stuff you know they can just relate to me because um you know i'm just cut my uh, uncle aaron yeah you know, he's the d-line coach i uh over there i western and then my other uncle uh coach boswick he's the uh, linebackers coach at uh, northwest missouri state and so it's just cool with like you know different coaches we kind of they they know everybody knows each other and so it's cool just with that but also you know like it's just it's it's pretty fun over there you know just I know the whole coaching staff and so Coach Schrohmeyer and uh, him they kind of just mess with me about you know just going over there for college and then so yeah it, it's cool and fun and uh, I'm happy for him over there because you know that's that's a top of the line junior college over there so it's it's just fun national champs man. Yeah. Uh, sweet. So, um, I think as far as I got, I think that's all I got for you guys, man. You know, I know you guys still in class. What do you how, how many guys? How many classes do you guys have left? Or how's school going so far? Uh, it's going good. It's going good. We have we got have like have, one yeah. one and a half more classes left. So. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You guys do what kind of scheduling do you guys have? Like block scheduling. But yeah, block scheduling. Yeah. See, man, we we never had any of that. When I was, like, not my school in particular, other schools did, but they knew if they give us a blog roll, we ain't coming back. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was just us, man. They, we ain't coming back. Uh, but yeah, did you go to that's all I got. Oh, I guess, uh, you know, Tyson, you did this last time we were on here. Uh, if you want to do it again, you can. Uh, Sebastian, this is your first time on here. Uh, the last thing I do is I give you guys the opportunity to, uh, you know, thank the people, uh, you know, give your appreciation to the people that, you know, helped you along the way. Uh, it could be your coaches, 
uh, teammates, parents, uh, you know, whoever, whoever's kind of helped you get along, the, uh, get as far as you have, um, you know, this is your time to do so. Uh, you want to go? Or? I, I'll go first. Um, you know, I, I just very appreciated. Um, you know, my my parents, my mom, my dad. You know, without my dad, I don't know, like, of him installing the sports and the mentality of me. I don't know where I'd be at. Um, you know, today, uh, my mom. You know, she's friggin', she uh, you know, coos cleans for me. You know, without her, she's like, I don't know where. I also where I'd be at, but also family. You know, they're my biggest supporters. You know, um, I'm one of the only few to even have a chance um, of going to college. So that's been pretty cool. Um, so every, they're all just rooting for me. Um, you know, any, you know, to my wrestling coaches um, of developing in wrestling. And uh, I, uh, fortunately, I'm not going to pursue that dream in college. But, yeah. um, you know, it's just all my football coaches growing up and uh, Coach Martin. Um, They've just they've all always they've all just had a big uh, part in my success, and so I'm always thankful for them. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I just want my dad too. He motivates me, and thankful for my mom for always being there for me, pushing me in school. And I want to say thanks to Coach Martin too for always pushing me to be better, and Coach O'Neill too to push me to be the best quarterback I can be. Same with Coach Burns pushing me to be the best quarterback too. Yeah. Always in my ear yelling, but that one thinks Will Hewlett is quarterback coach I train with and yeah, that's really all I got. Yeah, got mm -hmm. some good, you know, got some good support uh, you know, in your corner. So that's always good good to hear. Um man man, I think that's all I got. Sebastian, I think last time I talked to Tyson and Samarius, you showed me a picture you got put up on a wall, bro. You've been they've been keeping you <laughs> off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like a joke. <laughs> yeah, you, man, you like, gotta watch out, bro. We, you, uh, like you're gonna be messing with people. You gotta make sure it's not the deep. Yeah, you gotta have the lineman on in your bag, bro. You can't be. That did it. <laughs> all right, man. Well, hey, man. As long as as long as you don't get put up on no more walls, man. We're all good. You know, keep you, keep you, keep you upright. Keep you healthy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right, man. I appreciate you guys. Appreciate your time, man. Uh, you know, I'll let you guys get back to it. You know, I'll let you guys finish lunch and all that. So, all right, man. Thank appreciate you. it, fellas. See you. you. When you stab my back, I promised I won't be the same dude. When you try to be the glue, it'll get you stuck. Always learn to hate, cause love will get you cut. You can have their back and they still gonna front. You can share a laugh and they can get you done. You can face a battery, they still gonna jump.